Hi Aries, this is a peek at your partner for the week of January the 15th through January the 21st, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see for the partner of the star sign of Aries for January the 15th through January the 21st, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aries for January the 15th through January the 21st, 2023. Universal energies, show me what I need to see. For the partner of the star sign of Aries for January the 15th through January the 21st, 2023. Show me. You guys, subscribe, like, comment, and share these videos. If this does not resonate with you, check your moon, rising, and Venus sign videos. I do not read reversals. So, Aries. Aries, this is a peek at your partner. So, Aries, your partner has the Knight of Wands. Your partner has the Ace of Swords. Your partner has the Ten of Cups. Your partner has the Eight of Cups. And your partner has the Queen of Pentacles who tried to fall out of my deck when I was shuffling. So, Aries, you have the Knight of Wands. Well, your partner has the Knight of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is someone rushing into your partner or your partner rushing in to start a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, someone could be rushing in, going off, going ham passionately, rushing in with the spark of a new idea, rushing in with some type of exciting, passionate communication, exciting, passionate action. But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. This is flighty energy, in and out energy, player energy. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that there's a rush to do something. Could be a rushing in, going off, going ham passionately with a heated discussion or argument. Or someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries, partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries, partner. Clarify the Knight of Wands for Aries, partner. It is clarified with you, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius, the Queen of Wands. This queen is a very fiery, feisty, bold, and confident energy. Someone who handles their business with a lot of passion, effort, and energy. So, Aries, this is you. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries, partner. Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries, partner. What does Aries' partner think of Aries? What does Aries' partner think of Aries? Clarify the Queen of Wands for Aries' partner. It is clarified with the Hermit. Could be dealing with a Virgo, but right now you're taking some time out to be alone, to do some soul searching, introspection, searching your inner man for wisdom and guidance, going within, looking for answers. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Virgo, but I asked what does your partner think of you? Your partner may think that you just need some me time. Your partner may think that you're doing some heavy duty soul searching, or you went on a solo search looking for something. However, when it comes to you, your partner could tell me that they need some me time. They're doing some heavy duty soul searching or they went on a solo search looking concerning you. Clarify the hermit for Aries, partner. Clarify the hermit for Aries, partner. Clarify the hermit for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the world. 
So you may be at a distance from your partner, either emotionally or physically at a distance. Your partner may have traveled recently or will travel in the near future. But the world symbolizes closing out a cycle to start a new cycle, closing out a chapter to start a new chapter. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that there's distance between you guys, emotional distance or geographical distance. Your partner could tell me that a cycle is closing out completely or someone is wanting to come back around again. Clarify the world for Aries, partner. Clarify the world for Aries, partner. Clarify the world for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Seven of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is your partner waiting. And in this wait, they're pausing to reflect on you guys' relationship. They're looking at the seeds that were planted. Looking at what has taken root, what has grown, and what it has produced thus far. Trying to figure out whether or not they want to continue to invest. Whether they want to reinvest. They're taking stock of you guys' relationship. Assessing you guys' relationship. But this is also a card of your partner looking at their coins, their harvest, their bank account. Look Looking at how much they have and how much they have to invest could be waiting on money so aries listen your partner could tell me that they're waiting on money looking at their coins looking at their bank account your partner could tell me that they're waiting your partner could tell me that they're waiting contemplating and debating on whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship you know, Aries, your partner could tell me that you guys had this rushing and going off, going ham passionately over the coins here, okay? And a cycle could be closing out here. However, your partner could tell me that they're asking themselves whether or not they care to continue to invest or reinvest in this relationship, doing some heavy-duty soul searching concerning it, and maybe thinking about coming back around again. Aries, your partner could tell me that we found that someone was out being a player getting cookies somewhere. And this is the reason why a cycle was closing out. Your partner's asking themselves whether or not they care to continue to invest here. We'll see. Aries, your partner has the ace of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is truth. This is clarity. This is communication. Now, this could be the sword of decision, the sword of victory. But this could also be the sword that one reels to sever a relationship. So, Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that you guys are having this communication. Your partner could tell me that some truth and clarity is out here. Your partner could tell me that they're making a decision or using the sword to sever. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the Ace of Swords for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Magician. Could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner is trying to manifest, trying to make something happen. And they have all the tools and resources available to them to manifest whatsoever they will. They have the fire element, the air element, the water element, the earth element, and the ethers. So with great focus and intent, they can manifest. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with an Aquarius, but your partner is trying to make something happen here. Clarify the magician for Aries partner clarify the magician for aries partner clarify the magician for aries partner aries you're at the bottom of the deck it is clarified with justice could be dealing with a libra but your partner may be calling for karmic justice, saying, you know what? I'm a good person. I put good out there. I'm just expecting that good to return to me. Or your partner saying someone did me so wrong and so dirty, I'm calling for karmic justice. I want them to get exactly what they deserve. Or your partner's dealing with something in the justice system. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Libra, but your partner could tell me that, hey, something isn't fair, something isn't balanced, something isn't just. Your partner could tell me that someone wants to come in and right a wrong and bring justice to a situation. Or we're dealing with something in the justice system. Clarify justice for Aries, partner. Clarify justice for Aries, partner. Clarify justice for Aries, partner. It is clarified with strength. Could be dealing with a Leo. But the universe is calling for your partner to have strength, courage, determination, motivation to keep moving forward and to do the right thing. But this is also a card of your partner trying to tame their lusts, tame their passions, trying to restrain themselves, restrict themselves and hold themselves back from something. 
So Aries, listen, could be dealing with a Leo, but your partner could tell me that they're feeling extremely weak here. Your partner could tell me that they're restraining themselves, restricting themselves, and holding themselves back, or trying to muster the strength and courage to do something. Clarify strength for Aries, partner. Clarify strength for Aries, partner. Clarify strength for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Seven of Swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This is someone lying, cheating, stealing, being manipulative, trying to get away with something. Someone being deceptive. Someone strategically devising a plan of action. Someone being sneaky, trying to escape, trying to get away with something. So Aries, some type of lying, cheating, deceptiveness here, sneakiness or sneaking off. Now listen, your partner could tell me that there's some truth and clarity out concerning some type of deception. It wasn't fair, it wasn't balanced, it wasn't just. Your partner could tell me that this is making them feel extremely weak here or holding themselves back because of it. However, it could be their deception and they're trying to muster the strength and courage to come in and bring balance here, Aries. You know, maybe needing to make a decision. This is something that they're thinking long and hard on, thinking long and hard on, Aries. Aries, you know, your partner, I hope for some of you guys that it's not about making a decision about taking something to the justice system because of some type of deception here. Whether it's uh, concerning you guys' commitment or concerning these coins. Aries, your partner has the Ten of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is emotional fulfillment. This is the apex card. This is the happy family, happy life, happy wife, happy, stable, committed relationship, and happy home. This is what we're all striving for. So we're speaking of marriage, commitment, home, family, emotional fulfillment. So Aries, listen, you know, someone very well may have commitment on the brain here. However, in tarot, tens are ending. So it could be an ending to you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Clarify the ten of cups. But Aries, partner, clarify the Ten of Cups. But Aries, partner, clarify the Ten of Cups. But Aries, partner, it is clarified with the Nine of Wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag. This is your partner being guarded and standing their ground. They have a stance. They meant what they said. They said what they meant. They're not willing to bend, concede, meet halfway, eye to eye, or anything. But this is also a card of your partner saying, you know what? I'm tired. I'm wounded. I'm down for the count. But I still have a little fight in me left. I'm not giving up. Being persistent. But this is also a card of your partner having their walls up, their guards up. They're not trusting. A little suspicious, a little paranoid here. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that they're highly suspicious. They have the guard up. They don't trust. Your partner could tell me that they're guarding something. Your partner could tell me that they're going to be persistent or they're standing their ground here, Aries. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me it's something that they don't trust here. So things are ending. There was some type of deception. However, your partner can tell me that they're going to be persistent here because they want to restore you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation, or family dynamics. Aries, your partner has the Eight of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. This is your partner detaching emotionally, feeling emotionally drained, and just walking away from people, places, and things that no longer serve them. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that they're walking away, detaching emotionally. But when we're dealing with the Eight of Cups, this is someone who's leaving in search of their Nine of Cups, their wish fulfillment. And oftentimes they find that the grass is not greener on the other side, so they end up returning. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that they're walking away or returning. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the Eight of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the Eight of Cups. But Aries, partner, <clears throat> it is clarified with the Queen of Swords, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This queen is a no-nonsense type of queen. She already knows the truth. She'll let you speak your truth to bring more clarity, but she has no problems with cutting people, places, and things out of her life that no longer serve her. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with Gemini, Libra, Aquarius or someone with air prominent in their charts. However, your partner could be taking on the energy of this Queen of Swords and cutting something out. But also with the Queen of Swords, this can be legal documentation or paperwork. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries, 
partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries, partner. Clarify the Queen of Swords for Aries, partner. It is clarified with judgment. Now, judgment could be your partner passing their own final verdict and judgment over you guys' relationship. Judgment could be the final verdict and judgment in a legal court case. But judgment is forgiveness and resurrection of the relationship. Second chances. So, Aries, listen, your partner could be passing their own final verdict and judgment here. Someone could be asking for forgiveness and a second chance. Or we're dealing with something illegal. Clarify judgment for Aries, partner. Clarify judgment for Aries, partner. Clarify judgment for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the chariots. Could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is determined to move forward confidently, <clears throat> confidently, victoriously, successfully ahead. Now, this can speak to travel. This can speak to relocating cities, states, countries. This can speak to moving from one residence to another or simply moving forward and leaving things behind. But your partner is determined to move forward confidently. So, Aries, listen, could be dealing with a cancer, but your partner is wanting to make some type of move here. Clarify the chariot for Aries, partner. Clarify the chariot for Aries partner clarify the chariot for aries partner it is clarified with the three of cups scorpio cancer or pisces this is we are reunited and it feels so good let's go out eat drink and be merry and celebrate celebrate that we're reunited and it feels so good but this can also speak to there being a third party situation going on so aries listen your partner could tell me that they have just cause to celebrate your partner could tell me that you guys are reuniting or there's a third party. Now, listen, Aries, your partner could tell me that they're cutting things off, walking away. This is their judgment to move on because there was a third party. That very well could, could have been a deception here, okay? Because over here, they're thinking about what they're going to do because maybe they feel like you were out being a player here. So they may make this decision to move on, Aries. But Aries, your partner could also tell me that there was a cutting off and maybe they're wanting to return and ask for forgiveness in a second chance or give forgiveness in a second chance, reuniting here, maybe wanting to be determined to restore you guys' commitment, marriage, living together situation or family dynamics. For some of you guys, I hope you're not dealing with something illegal here because this can be legal documentation or paperwork or judgment is here. And I don't, I, maybe they have just cause to celebrate because there was some type of deception. Hope not dealing with the coins here. Aries, your partner has the Queen of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This queen is usually stable, rooted, grounded, traditional, believes in an institution of marriage and family. Someone who is good with managing finances and material resources. So Aries, listen, could be dealing with Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or someone with Earth prominent in their chart. However, when we're dealing with the Queen of Pentacles, the Queen of Pentacles is a married, stable, committed person. So you could be dealing with a spouse. Queen of Pentacles is a nurturing, mothering energy. So you could be dealing with the parent of your child. Could be dealing with someone you work with or do business with or have some type of joint assets, resources, and property with, or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aries, partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aries, partner. Clarify the Queen of Pentacles for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Wheel of Fortune. This is divine timing at play. This is the karmic wheel of destiny. This is a faded event. This is change in your partner's luck and fortune. Well, this wheel can spin and they can have good luck and fortune. Or this wheel can spin the other way and things can get a little rocky for your partner. So Aries, listen, your partner could tell me that everything between you guys has changed. Your partner could tell me it's an actual change in their luck and fortune. Or this is about divine timing. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Aries, partner. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Aries, partner. Clarify the wheel of fortune for Aries, partner. <clears throat> it is clarified with the page of wands. Aries, Leo, or Sag, this is news or a message about a passionate, creative new endeavor. Now, this can be the news about the spark of a new idea, the news, a message about some type of passionate action that needs to take place. 
But this wand is symbolic of the male phallic and using the male phallic to be intimate. So passionate messages or news of passion. So Aries, listen, your partner could be receiving passionate messages. They could be sending out passionate messages. Very well could be that we found passionate messages and heard the news of someone sharing passion. Or this is a heated discussion or argument here. Clarify the page of wands for Aries, partner. Clarify the page of wands for Aries, partner. Clarify the page of wands for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Knight of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone coming into your partner or your partner coming in to apologize, to offer their cup of love and make the romantic gesture. So someone is saying, I'm sorry. Someone is trying to heal things, mend things, work things out. Maybe be coming in with a romantic gesture here, Aries. Okay. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries, partner. Clarify the Knight of Cups for Aries, partner. It is clarified with the Six of Cups. Scorpio, Cancer, or Pisces. This is someone from their past. Flashback from the past. Full-fledged in the flesh. Someone from their past is back. Now, they can be reminiscing on someone from their past, remembering someone from their past, but something or someone from the past is being revisited. This is twin flame energy. This is reconciliation energy. So listen, Aries, you know, yes, you very well could be this person from their past. They're having feelings of nostalgia, wanting to reunite here. Your partner could tell me that someone from your past is in the picture. Someone from their past is in the picture. Something from the past is being brought back up here. Or this involves children. So Aries, I take it is that you guys had this rushing and going off, going hand passion, some type of heated discussion or argument here, okay? There was a cutting off and a walking away. But, you know, your partner could tell me that they have to make a judgment call about maybe reuniting here. So when I look over here, Aries, your partner could tell me that there is a change happening here, okay? Yes, we had this heated discussion or argument and it changed things between us, but another change is happening because someone is coming in to apologize and wanting to reunite here, Aries. There was some type of deception. I don't know if this deception was because there was a third party. Someone was out being a player and your partner felt like it was a fair balance of justice, so they just cut things off here. But they started off telling me, when it comes to you, I got to think. God damn, I got to think about, and I got to think some more about whether or not to come back around again, whether or not I should turn right back around again, because this offer of reuniting is on the table here, okay? This apology here, okay? Asking for forgiveness here. Aries, this is a peek at your partner for the week of January the 15th through January the 21st, 2023. You guys, give me feedback, subscribe, like, comment and share and guys follow me on twitter at her immortal madge m-a-j okay and i'll see you guys next week peace